Hello and welcome to Sim UK. I desperately need to discuss with you Pure Farming 2018 and its recently released patch version 1.1.1. I also need to discuss and clarify the importance of my release day video review warning people not to buy Pure Farming 2018 yet. It's a video that has received and in turn provided me with a lot of attention, a lot of support and also a lot of abuse. Now, what I'm going to discuss today is very important, especially for those of you who downvoted that video and even more so for those of you who felt compelled to leave comments which included foul language, threats and abuse. Like the majority of you, I paid Steam £25 in advance of the release day in order to secure a copy of Pure Farming 2018. And like most of you, I did not have an early access copy provided to me. So my expectations for this title were formulated entirely from gameplay previews provided by some of my own favourite YouTubers who had been supplied with an early access copy. I watched quite a few preview videos from a number of different YouTubers and throughout I had heard nothing negative and nothing to suggest that this was an arcade game and as a result I was convinced that this was going to be a fully fledged simulator and as such a direct competitor for Farming Simulator 2017. So this is the crux of the matter, the important bit, the bit where you really need to sit up and pay attention. My initial intention was to start a long Let's Play series featuring Pure Farming 2018 on my channel. On release day, when I started playing this game, expecting it to be a simulator, it took me far less than two hours to establish that this, in its release day state, was a long, long way off being a simulator. I was disappointed to say the least, so much so that I utilised Steam's two hour no quibble return policy and as a YouTuber whose entire channel is based around simulation and the ethos ultimate realism, I felt honour bound to warn my fellow simulation enthusiasts that this was not a simulator. So I very quickly made that initial review video where I warned people not to buy Pure Farming 2018 yet, with the emphasis on the word yet. In addition to this video, I also wrote a review on Steam and added a curator review for those of you who are subscribed to my curator page. Now the reason why what I did benefits everyone is as follows. On the back of that one review, the following positive things have happened that will benefit not only me and my fellow simulation enthusiasts, but also all of you who downvoted my video and yes, even those of you who felt compelled to leave me abuse. On release day, I received a direct message from the developers acknowledging my reservations of the game and better still, addressing them head on. I replied to them immediately, commending this approach and thanking them for taking the criticism in the context which it was intended. Now, I have spoken openly about how disappointed I was with the YouTubers who had been previewing this game, but who did not fully explain the limits and pitfalls that it had. If they had been more honest and thorough, then my expectations on release day would not have been as high, and quite possibly, I would not have even bought the game at all. Now this raises some very serious questions around the end goal of these previews for me. When I preview a game, I make every effort to show the positives and the negatives of the game. I provide feedback to the development team, and with the greatest of respect to those developers, I try to ensure that my feedback helps to fix, improve, and perhaps even enhance the title, so that on release day, you guys out there, both those who watch my channel and even those who don't, not only get the best game possible on release day, but you can also be sure you know exactly what to expect from the game. Now, my honest approach might well reduce sales in some cases. In others, it will boost sales. Let's be honest, if you watch a video, a preview video on Sim UK, and you hear nothing but positive things, then you pretty much know that that's probably going to be a good game. Now, with that being said, and as a massive fan of Dagoins for many years now, I was surprised to receive a message on my Steam review page from the man himself. This message from Dagoin wasn't actually directed at me, but rather another person who had also voiced his disappointment that Dagoin had not done more to highlight Pure Farming 2018's limitations. Regardless, I took this opportunity to address Dagoin directly, and after a bit of genuine fanboyism, I requested that in future he consider making a more in-depth review of games which we mere mortals don't yet have access to. Soon after, someone else commented too, and they also reinforced that position. 
I'm glad to say that Dagoin did reply and has stated that in future he will make more review like videos in order to address this issue. So we will all benefit from that. Now finally, the last and the most important part of this entire video is patch version 1.1.1, what has been included in it and why. So on Friday the 16th of March 2018, I received the following message from the developers of Pure Farming 2018. Just a quick update that version 1.1.1 is now live. For the update, we've focused on bug fixes and feature updates requested by players so far. That's pretty generic and everybody probably got that. Referring directly to your review at SimUK, we've added additional options regarding braking and reversing and we've doubled the distance which you can zoom out. We've also added a real-time one-to-one option as many people were asking for that. Full patch notes here. Now, if you take the time to check through that changelog, you will see many of my own personal complaints about Pure Farming 2018 have actually been addressed. The tablet in the window, for example, has now been removed from all vehicles, which is good, but I honestly would have preferred it to be a sat-nav. Regardless, there you have a perfect example of how one single YouTube channel's honest but negative review can positively influence a game, another highly respected YouTuber's future preview videos, and ultimately make gaming and simulation more fun, more rewarding and more transparent for all of us than it was before Pure Farming 2018 was released and I made that video. So please be aware in future that SimUK is a YouTube channel that only has your best interests at heart. And indeed, any reviewer that has a negative review does that because they genuinely feel the game could be better than it is. It might be more advantageous that you provide constructive criticism and try and stay away from this abusive, negative attitude that I seem to have been subject to for the last week. It's not necessary, it's not beneficial, and at the end of the day, the negative review has produced a positive outcome. So everybody wins from that. So that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. I just wanted to get that clear and get it out to you. I will be making a full in-depth review on Pure Farming 2018, just as soon as I can formulate enough information to do that. Now this game is changing and being updated and patched consistently. So it might take me a couple of weeks in order to really cover everything. But when things have died down and the game has settled, I will come back to you with a fully fledged, 100% in-depth, everything analysed review, and then hopefully on the back of that, we'll get even more positive changes. So thank you for listening today, I really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments section down below any changes that have happened in Pure Farming 2018 that you think are good, any changes that you think are bad, and any changes that you'd like to see. And the importance of doing that is because the reviewers, the developers, sorry, will be looking at this video, they will be reading your comments, and they will be taking it on board. So don't waste the opportunity. Get commenting down below. Let them know what you want to see. Let's make Pure Farming the best game it can be. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye for now. People ask the question, why do you farm? And I tell them... I love the thunder of roaring engines, the sharp whiff of gasoline, the sheer joy of driving a 30,000-pound beast. I adore the smell of Colombian coffee farms, the tranquility of rice plantations in Japan, the relaxing ambience of Italian vineyards. And most of all, running the largest farm in the world just makes me proud. People ask the question, why do you farm? I tell them, why do you not?